Tonight, the I-Team is getting answers about repeat drunk driving. And this comes after their lengthy investigation that led to new charges for a five-time drunk driver who killed a young mother. That man, William Foley Jr., could wind up in jail if he's convicted of driving without a license. Our chief investigator, Cheryl Fiendaka, took a closer look at deadly driving crashes and what Massachusetts is doing to keep impaired drivers off the road. After the I-team caught William Foley Jr. behind the wheel, Dedham police brought the repeat drunk driver before a judge. Foley's license was suspended for life after he killed Christine Griffiths in a 2001 drunk driving crash. Say hi. Nationally, drunk driving deaths have dramatically increased, but here in Massachusetts, the numbers appear to be going down. In 2018, 122 people died. In 2019, 110 lost their lives. And in 2020, 98 were killed. We were one of the most locked down states during the pandemic, um, but nationally, the deaths have spiked by 14%. And that's the most drastic increase that we've seen since 2008. Now that things are going back to normal, um, we may see an increase in Massachusetts as well. It's definitely an alarming trend that we're keeping our eye on. Blow into the mouthpiece on the Advocates side. say one way to keep the numbers down is with these ignition interlock devices. They work like a breathalyzer and prevent drivers who have been drinking from being able to start their car. This touch-based system. Other similar technology like this alcohol detection system will soon be standard equipment in all new cars, all part of the infrastructure bill signed by President Biden in last year. Police also have impaired drivers on their radar, setting up checkpoints on weekend nights for what MAD calls preventable tragedies, acknowledging that suspending someone's license doesn't always prevent them from getting behind the wheel. License suspension really isn't an effective tool because if they can just go ahead and drive anyways. It's an honor system, and these people have already committed something that's not honorable. Um, so that's not something that we can really rely on. It's getting those interlock devices into the cars so they won't start if they've been drinking. And while that technology is available right now, making alcohol detection systems standard equipment in new cars will take a while. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has three years to choose a system and get safety standards in place. Lisa? Cheryl, thank you.